All right, guys, welcome to week seven. We are glad you joined us. We hope you had a great weekend, and I just want you guys to look behind us. We got two major projects for the week. First is this 2024 Lamborghini Urus. This is going our Expel Stealth with a couple of custom gloss piece accents that we're gonna show you along the way. Full tint as well as clear plex windshield PPF. So if you guys have questions about windshield PPF, we're gonna go through that this week as well as some PPF kind of educational uh, segments as well. So pay, pay attention to those. And then behind me, we have the 2023 Escalade. This is getting our full paint protection package. It is not going stealth. I know we've had a few of these in the shop that have been going stealth. It is just being kept gloss. So the client loves gloss black paint, doesn't want any swirls, doesn't want any rock chips, and made a huge investment in this car. So paint protection film is really the only option he has in order to achieve all those things. So not aesthetically pleasing, not gonna be a huge difference, but it will be a gloss black vehicle for years to come. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. I'm gonna walk you through some more projects. Have a great day. We're back in the shop and I kind of want to go further into our education portion when it comes to paint protection film. So one thing I want to explain is the three different types of packages that we offer. Um, you'll get a lot of names and numbers and stuff like that from random shops. We keep it pretty simple here. Uh, the first package we talk about is going to be your partial kit. That's, that's like a, a very minimalistic PPF coverage. It's going to be a part of the hood. So you're going to see a line across the hood. There's gonna be fenders, you're gonna see a portion, a portion across the fenders on that as well. It's gonna have your light coverage, it's gonna have your bumper coverage, it's gonna have your mirror coverage. However, with lighter colored vehicles, that line, six to nine months, maybe even a year down the road, will build up with dirt. It's just what's gonna happen. It's considered a ledge and things just kind of fall into it and that's gonna happen. It doesn't matter, not a quality of an install issue, it's just an aesthetics issue. So if you're concerned about the look of PPF, that's definitely not your package. If you're concerned about just the bumper being protected as a commute to LA or wherever you go, that is your package. Um, it'll save you time, it'll save you money, we can get them done in a day. That's that's a base baseline coverage for paint protection film um, and can be done to any, any of your vehicle, any make model. Uh, we have everything accessible in our software system, so whatever you guys feel you need, let us know. Uh, second package is what we call our full front or essential package is what you guys seen in the previous videos. That is now coverage of all the components beforehand in the previous package, but a full hood and a full fender. So if you're worried about aesthetics, that is your package. Um, and also it's great for daily drivers, still at a good price point. Um, it is more expensive obviously than the partial package due to labor, time, and material. Um, but it will keep you from having that line and nobody will be able to tell the film is on the car. Last but not least is gonna be our full coverage option. Um, granted, we can modify that full coverage option to eliminate like maybe a hood or, or sorry, not a hood, you want to do the hood, the roof or a tailgate, something like that on the truck that's not going to see those, um, you know, kind of damages and stuff like that from daily driving. But typically people go all in because you don't save too much by doing that. So the full coverage is going to be for a vehicle that 
for one you truly love, uh, maybe a vehicle that holds uh, sentimental value or is a numbered vehicle. So a lot of cars are now coming out with special editions like a GT500 or an M3 Competition, an M3 Heritage, uh, an F-150 Raptor, all these things are Raptor R's. All these things that are not only rare, but they're also used in the off-road industry or track industry and want to preserve the paint because we all know that now paint is not what it's like before. Paint to repaint a car is about 15 grand and up. If you want a really good job, you're looking 15 grand and up. So the initial investment in PPF is well worth it. We'll pay dividends. So the full coverage is somebody that just really wants no swirls, no hassle, no maintenance, no rock chips, um, and then just an overall glossy vehicle for the, for the life of the car. So that, that's those three coverages. And then last but not least, I kind of want to go into uh, gloss versus stealth. You guys know we've put out a ton of stealth projects in the last year or two years. We actually probably have done probably the most here in Orange County, I would think, uh, based on our purchases through Expel. We do a lot of stealth and we're very comfortable with it. Uh, but that is taking any existing color. So if the car is green, we're going satin green. If the car is red, we're going satin red. And if we're going black, we're going satin black, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's taking the existing finish of the vehicle and making it satin. So that's the only difference. The thickness doesn't change. The aesthetics don't change minus the satin. Uh, the look of the film doesn't distort. It doesn't make the car shiny. Um, you can ceramic coat stealth film to make it easier to clean. Uh, same with gloss, you can ceramic coat that as well. So I wanted to hop on here because you're gonna start seeing random stuff kind of come through as we evolve these videos, uh, whether it be gloss, stealth, color changes, we offer an option as well. But right now it's just discussing those two with paint protection film, it's stealth versus gloss. So I hope you guys uh, really enjoy the content we're putting out. Um, if there's any questions, you can always feel free to message me. I'm gonna be consistently on YouTube. Uh, DM me, text me, call me. I'm here to educate, here to help out. And I want you guys to be informed of the decision you make and the money you spend with Shine. All right, guys, welcome back to week seven. We hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far. We got two rad projects to my right and to my left. The first one on the right is this 2024 Escalade. Another one, another black one, full body PPF, full tint, windshield, panel roof, sides and back, as well as all custom coverage tucked and everything. And then to my left, we have this extremely unique and rare Lambo Urus S, fully specced, all black. We went through and did Expel Stealth, which is taking the original gloss black paint and making it satin. And then we left, as you can see, a ton of gloss accents per the client's request, but it is beyond my imagination, guys. We got gloss black on the mirrors, gloss black inner on the, on the hood. We left pretty much half the bumper and gloss to kind of insignia and make it you know, pop a little bit more. Uh, we murdered this thing out in tint. Client wanted as dark as possible. We went through and did 40% on the front windshield, 5% on the sides in the back, and 5% on the panel roof. So there's literally almost no light that comes through this thing. And then one additional thing, because these windshields are so expensive on these cars, we did Clearplex. Clearplex is a windshield PPF that we offer. It is good between 12 to 18 months. It does cost a little bit, but when it comes to these windshields that are super expensive, it is a really, really good option. Um, saves the client downtime and you can just remove and replace and it's good to go, especially good on track cars. So we hope you guys are enjoying the content. Feel free to message, DM, text, phone call us, give us you know even advice on what we should do or what you guys wanna see. We love everything, we appreciate your support. We'll talk to you guys next week.